women really, really had to get to the studio early because they had to have their hair done, their makeup put on, their costumes put on. And then, you know, they worked into the night. And here's what's remarkable. After a grueling day on the set, Hetty didn't go to bed. She wasn't socializing. Hetty was at home working on her latest adventure. Inventing was her hobby. She not only had a complete inventing table set up in her house, but Howard Hughes gave her a small version of the set of equipment, which she had in the trailer where she stayed in between takes and her motion pictures. When Hetty first met Howard Hughes, he was dating every Hollywood star, and she did date him. Howard Hughes, of course, was a great airplane designer. So probably they had a compatible spirit with one another. It was definitely uh, cerebral because she said he was the worst lover she ever had. Howard Hughes wanted to build the fastest planes in the world so he could sell them to the Air Force. She was fascinated by his mind and his factories, and she wanted to go and see where everything was being made and built, and she met all the scientists. He said to her, anything you want my scientists to do for you, just ask them, and they will do it. He relied on me. I thought the airplane was too slow. I decided that's not right. It shouldn't be square, the, the, the wings. So I bought a book of fish, and I bought a book of birds, and then used the fastest bird with a, connected it with the fastest fish. And I drew it together and showed it to how it used, and I said, you're a genius. And that you was, did? Yep. Yeah. Very strange person that was, very brilliant, mm -hmm. but very misunderstood as well. She invented, during that period, a tablet that would fizz up and make a cola. I had two chemists. How it used, gave me to do that. You know, during the war, nobody had Coca-Cola, and I wanted to compress it into a tube. So that servicemen and, and factory people, so they, all they had to have is water and put it in. But I didn't realize that every state has different strengths of water. So it dissolved on the bottom, on top, in the middle. That was one of my boo-boos. I didn't do that right. Well, but I don't have to work on ideas. They come naturally. What must have been going through the mind of this young woman? She's become a huge international film star. But at the very same time, her country, the past as she has known it, has been eliminated. In 1940, the war was raging in Europe, and the United States was a neutral country. And Hitler was basically taking over all of Western Europe and, and, and threatening to take over Great Britain. If only I could do something. Oh, darling, you've done so much already. You almost made me forget about being afraid. Oh, I am afraid now. She did have a secret. When Hetty arrived at Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer, Louis B. Mayer specifically ordered all of his stars not to talk about their religious backgrounds. People would say, you're Jewish, and I'm like, no. And I called mom and said, mom, are we Jewish? And she said, don't be ridiculous. 